I thought I would just do a quick video on how to change pads and just the disc mechanical disc brakes um, on a trailer since I couldn't find very much online. So let's go a bit closer. What we've got here is we've got a trailer which has got disc brakes mechanically operated by uh, an impetus uh, hitch which pulls the wire back here. These brakes use an impetus system where the hitch um, is able to, the trailer slides forward on the hitch, which pushes this lever back, which tightens those cables there, which pulls on the lever over here, which squeezes the brake pads in over here in the caliper. So I've already had this apart once before I realized just how this side over here uh, is activated. So I'm gonna pull it all apart again. Um, the caliper is held on with two bolts. We've got one up here and a matching one down over here. And that slides the whole caliper off, at which point we can then take the pads out and the pads are activated. I'll show you what activates the pads when that comes off. Okay, with those two bolts off, the whole caliper comes off and you can see here the operation of the brake. So what we have, we have the two pads, the red sits in between. Um, when the lever is pulled, the bolt in the center of the screen there contacts with plate you can see touching there so that bolt pushes onto this plate here behind the pad which pushes the pad onto the disc and then what's a bit tricky I didn't realize before is that the whole caliper slides on those pins that those pins there should be lubricated and then that enables this outside of the caliper to move and for the outside to bite as well. So what we're gonna do is next, we're gonna slide that sleeve out and lubricate that sleeve and then the bolt which attaches the caliper goes through the middle of that sleeve. So here's the sleeve and it should come out. And it does. So you can see it's pretty grunged up and it was quite difficult to get out that needs to be able to slide freely. So I'm going to clean that up, put some um, some grease on it. In this case, I'll probably use Copper Ease, um, which I'll also put on the bolts. And I'll similarly do this one over here and then reassemble. When you reassemble, this is the, uh, the part which that bolt presses onto. It sticks through that hole and actually actuates the, uh, the whole caliper. So I'll go and clean this up and come back, oh, actually I'll clear both of them up, come back, reassemble it, um, and I'll show you how to put the pads in and make sure the actuator's in there. Okay, so now we've got our caliper holes all cleaned up, and we've got the slides cleaned up. So let's put a little tiny dab of grease in each of those. Don't forget, this is a really dirty, dusty environment. If you over-grease it, um, all the dirt and mud's gonna stick to the grease as it gets pushed out and we'll end up back in the situation we started with. Okay, there we are reassembled. So the uh, pusher goes in first, then the inside pad, and then the outside pad. On the outside of the caliper, there's a little notch, which you can see in the middle there, where you slide the pads up into that and then push them into place. So now what we have to do is rotate this caliper, slide it back over the rotor and do the bolts up. Alright, now the rotor uh, is back on the rotor. Um, you see at the moment the rotor smooths nice and freely. So what we're going to do next, we are going to adjust the bolt back here. This bolt here, we're going to rotate that in. You can see it pressing on the back of the bit that pushes onto the pad here. That pushes onto the pad, that bit. So by taking out this, this is like pre-tensioning that. This is a bit more tension there now, a bit more. 
There's a lock nut over here. If we keep going, it should get to the point where the rotor gets quite hard to turn. There, so that's too far, so we'll back that off. And then we'll do up this lock nut. Okay, so now adjusted, just touching. So now our final step is to adjust the tension on the cable over here, which will activate the brakes from the impetus hitch. So um, we will manage that. When we do that, the adjuster is down here. So what we'll do is you turn this knurl knob that winds into this fitting, which effectively pulls the whole thing backwards, and then you lock it off with this nut here. Uh, just one more recommendation. What I suggest to do before doing mass adjustments is make that so that the whole thing is fairly loose and you've got plenty of room to be able to tighten it up because these cables do stretch. And then underneath the trailer, you will find that there the cable loops through the leverage arm and then it has a, a clamp system um, which tightens it down. So what I'll do is I'll put the wheels back on and then I will get under there and tighten that cable by hand and re-tighten that little clamp uh, and then I'll do the final adjustment up at the hitch.